Welcome back everybody to another episode of Real Life Craft. It's the mod pack for Minecraft. Today I would like to create a new world where I will receive experience points by mining ores. And start And that's a very pretty common start. Now I have faced for the very first time a siren. This place is a little bit better. I even have some birch trees for paper to make a match box. Now I do just have to find some gravel and I can start my journey here. Wow, this place is like a heaven. I have some sheep much gravel to pick up and many grass stuff for strings. It's just a quick overview from the current place where I will start my journey. One pillar of gravel. To get fin shards you will have to smash those on the rock by pressing the right mouse button. Now just pick some leaves for the very first stick. Wow, pretty common that I drop two plant fibers from one grass. Very first night, first goal achieved. We have reset the spawn point. And now it's time to get some experience points, either by smelting rocks, fishing, or just getting some charcoal here. It is actually pretty nice to have the future where you can weaken some blocks and then all you have to do is to hover again above those and mine them very quickly all at once like the blocks here i can weaken them and they will save their weakened status pretty long then you can hit those and farm them very quick At level 3 I would like first of all to upgrade my farming skill and get some seeds going. After a short amount of time I have managed to gather some experience points and I have already leveled up a little bit of my farming and gathering. But now I will share with you the three different classes which I mentioned. You can open up these windows with the buttons to press and to choose your class by first of all achieving level 5 at least. Then press L on the keyboard and then you can open these three tabs and in this world I would like to choose the mining option and it's done. Now 
I can demonstrate it with you guys here very quickly. I will mine some iron ores, but let me check if I can sleep now. Yes, I have prepared some iron ores to demonstrate the experience gain by mining ores and by choosing the glass mining and no experience. Wow, a little bit of experience. And again, and again. Not every ore will give you experience points, but it's actually very neat to get something. But I guess for real life craft, the best option to choose between those three different classes is the combat class, since here are so many different monsters to fight in the water or even in the air. But I will keep playing these different worlds and try to achieve as much as possible. And I dropped one obsidian block by a Gru. I slayed it in the forest. It has annoyed me with its appearance. I just got it away. And now all I do here are these strange sounds. These are from a Chupacabra. But that's enough for today's episode. I wish you all a nice and happy day out there. Have fun playing real life craft. And choose your class wisely. I would suggest to you to actually pick the combat class. But if you are more of a lazy player, you can even choose the crafting option or the mining option. Therefore, goodbye everybody!